The women on Love Island feel under intense pressure to have sex in order to get more airtime, a former contestant claims. Two couples have so far gone all the way during this series of ITV2S dating reality show. The ex-contestant said, there are condoms everywhere in the house and many of the girls feel under intolerable pressure to have sex. It's not as if, the condoms, are discreetly placed. They are blatantly in the open. The message some of the girls take from it is clear, we want you to have sex. Dozens of agents are understood to be lining up, ready to promise contestants riches. The insider added, many are offering lucrative brand endorsements, book deals, fashion ranges. The earning potential is endless. Many of the girls feel that if they have sex, they get more airtime and therefore are a more attractive proposition to the celebrity agents. The whole thing is really tawdry. The show, in which the public votes off contestants, has been a ratings hit this series with up to 2 million viewers glued to the arguments and canoodling. Dom Lever and Jess Shears were one of the pairs who had sex. Marcel Somerville and Gabby Allen are among those seen getting friendly in bed. Zara Holland was stripped of her Miss Great Britain crown for having sex on the show last year. One couple romped on the bed covers while other contestants watched and cheered. It prompted a flood of complaints to Ofcom. ITV said the Islanders are not put under any pressure to be intimate with one another. A source added they provided condoms as part of a duty of care and to promote responsible and safe sex. The insider added the show isn't about sex but about the journeys the couples go on. This year's best ratings have been for episodes featuring less sex, the source said. Host Caroline Flack said before this series began, can they have more sex? There can always be more sex. She added, we only show sex if it's relative to the storyline. It's not gratuitous. If you like this video please leave a like and subscribe.